Our next candidate is Tim Slater. Tim, you have two minutes to introduce yourself. Well, good evening all. As mentioned, I'm Tim Slater, a candidate for uh, uh, North Bend City Council. I've uh, been on the City Council in two different segments for just about 26 years. Uh, the first piece was uh, 18 years of which uh, 12 I was mayor. And I got to tell you, one of the biggest focuses we had was a uh, biannual city visioning and goal setting and then following up with that. And with that, we were able to do things like the urban renewal plan, the waterfront plan, uh, city hall remodeling, the senior center, um, the library, and, and many other different things that way, which shows you the effectiveness of what you can do when you focus on things. I, I think it's critically important to have a vision. Um, I think we need to be transparent in all our communications and uh, we still need to focus on jobs and the economy. And uh, I'll be happy to serve if I get that opportunity this time. Thank you. The first question, how would you improve communication between the city government and the citizens? Well, you know, that's an excellent question. And uh, realistically, people communicate in various three, at least three different ways. They either hear, or they like to read, or they like to be involved in it. So I think we have to offer uh, our communications in all of those venues. And the other side of it too is, I think eyeball to eyeball is critically important. And I did bring up the idea a few months ago about uh, uh, coffee with the council. And what I mean by that is we gather regularly on uh, once a month and people come in and just talk to one another. No, no formal presentations. We just get to know, here's what's going on. And that's the other side, listening as well as giving information, because I really want to engage the citizens in the projects that are in front of us. So I think with that whole gamut of uh, opportunities for communication, we can actually do that and make a significant difference in what's going on within the city. The second question, what should be the city's approach to the problem of the unhoused? Well, you know, that's a, a sort of a, a regional focus of things. You've seen the Coos County housing study um, in the variety of ways in which uh, uh, church units and that have tried to uh, address the unhoused portion. I think it's uh, critically important that we figure out, first of all, understand the uh, scope of, of what we have in this system, the needs that are really there. Some are unhoused uh, willingly, some of them are unhoused through economic and other particular issues. And uh, with that in hand, then start charting the ways that we can put it together. And I understand part of it's also necessary uh, for mental health uh, support and issues going on. It's, uh, it's a difficult item. I think we have some excellent examples from Eugene uh, and areas through there of which they've taken some variety of ways to step up and do that. So it's, it's utilizing the information about us, understanding what the uh, the scope and the issues are, and probably most importantly, setting yourself a deadline and getting things done. Okay, the next question. Given the continuing crisis of global climate change, what would be your approach to protecting the environment? Could you repeat that again? Given the continuing crisis of global climate change, what would be your approach to protecting the environment? Well, you know, that's, a, that's an interesting uh, aspect. I, I think for years we've uh, not used some of those things that we call renewable resources, especially uh, timber and uh, some of the opportunities around that way. I, I do believe that uh, so far as going to alternative energies, as we can find them and utilize them, and as they become commercially uh, utilized that way, is, uh, is a step in the right direction. You've seen wind, you've seen wave, um, you've seen uh, natural gas as opposed to uh, uh, the regular gas going on. 
So I believe it's it's more of a continuum of, of what's there and what's in front of us. The other aspect of it is to um, moving a little bit differently into uh, more public transit as opposed to simply the uh, uh, individual aspects that we that we do today. It's a obviously big problem, big challenge, um, but it's one that uh, really does need to be addressed uh, with this generation. Next. Is there waste in the city budget? If so, where would you make cuts and why? Well, you know, I, I think you could probably find waste somewhere, but I got to tell you from what I've seen and from what's going on in it, um, we are uh, understaffed in many cases. If you look at parks, it has three people. Um, we run a very tight ship, a very close ship. We've eliminated spots. Um, I don't believe that there's extensive waste going on anywhere in that, that focus. I do believe we can look for efficiencies and we can utilize the uh, uh, technology that's in front of us to create greater efficiencies. Um, but there's always opportunity to revise, join, and save some money in, in different aspects of things. But I think we get a lot of what we get done in the city by the willing efforts of those employees uh, that are working pretty thin that's in front of them. So I, I believe we're, we're staffed well. Uh, we're staffed sufficiently to get to where we're at. The other thing being too is we have to figure out uh, is this a level of service you want? You know, and, and I think this is a, a good and unique time to look at all the services that are provided and the quality and the extent of them and decide what level of service do you want and then staff to that uh, as well. Thank you. Um, so you have one minute now to tell us anything you want to tell us. <laughs> well, um, I, th I think our most important part is to have a solid view of who we are and what we want to be. Too often I've heard, and I'm sure you've heard, we're surrounded by water on three sides in Coos Bay on the south. We just can't build, we can't grow, we can't do. And quite honestly, you figure out what we want to be. If you want to be the retail center, the manufacturing center, the recreation focus area, if that's what we want to be, we can put together the goals and the focus to get there. Uh, that's been proven through studies which said um, nations they looked at is their positive self-image a function of their success or their success a function of their positive self-image. And what they found in every case was nations that became great started with a detailed vision and plan of what they wanted to be. And with that, executed and became what they were. And that created the positive. So I believe, folks, we can be what we want to be. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be. Uh, it only takes you and me and all of us within the city to do that. Fine. Good. Good wrap up. Peace out.